Hello, I'm the Budget Model and this is episode 16 of my Copper State Models 132nd Cauldron G3. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like and ring my bell. That would be brill. Thank you. To begin this episode, we're going to be carrying on with rigging the tail support struts. I'm only going to show this side as everything went swimmingly with both sides. So, without further ado, Let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. Let's have a close look at these rigging lines. They look pretty good, even if I say so myself. I'm well happy with those. Anywho, let's finish off this side, shall we? Thank you. 
there we have this side done. As I said, I'm not going to show you the other side as it is just going to be a bit of a bore. Everything went swimmingly. Nothing went wrong, but I'm sure that'll change. Now to make double turn buckles. I used thinner wire for the eyelets and 5mm aluminium tubing for the main body. So let's get these made, shall we? And this is what they look like close up. Teeny tiny things. Oh, and this is the size of the eyelet. There we have enough done for this model, probably more than enough. Next up, a FUBAR! I sprayed the elevator parts the wrong colour, so I'm going to have to redo them. I'll spray the pre-shading, then the correct colour. So here we go with that. There we have the respray done. I noticed the join between the inner and outer parts of the upper wing needed a quick coat, so I thought I'd get that done at the same time. Next up, a bit of hairy stick. I'm going to do the ends of some of the struts with Tamiya X14 Sky Blue, then the control horns with Vallejo 70.828 wood grain. So let's get these cracked, shall we?
there we go that's the hairy sticking sorted out now to clean up the windshield of its copy decks and get it glued onto the model there we go that's the windshield fitted satis not looking too bad next a load of dry fitting I can't remember part numbers so it's RTFM check the pictures and make sure you get them right if you don't it's gonna affect the way the top wing sits so here we go with lots of dry fitting There we have them all in the right place and sitting nicely as per the destructions, allegedly. Now let's get them glued in. I'm using a combination of fast acting CA mixed in with rubber CA and then occasionally I will put a drop of homebrew extra thin glue just to set off the CA. So let's get this little lot fitted. There we have those struts fitted into place. Next up, our first bit of rigging on the wing. So, let's get that sorted, shall we?
And there we have those two rigging lines in Satis, I think. Anywho, this episode has run on a little bit, and it seems like as good a place as any to end. So, thank you for watching episode 16. If you want to see what happens in episode 17, then please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment, and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling. <laughs>